Hey y'all, I'm T the Brand, Lash Brand Growth Specialist. And that just means that I help lash artists like you grow their businesses and increase their clientele through tailored and calculated strategies. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm taking y'all with me on my day in the life as a lash artist. Today, I have to go into the lash supply to pick up a few items because the other day when I was trying to do my order online, something was glitching with the website and I need my products today. So I'm taking you guys with me to the lash supply and then I have three services to do today. I have a three week hybrid feel, a four week wet set feel, and that is on my nail tech. Let, uh, nail therapy with Jorian. Make sure y'all hit her up if y'all are in Dallas. My girl keeps me right. So um, I have her and then I have a three week mega volume feel. After that, I have some editing that I need to do for YouTube videos. I don't know if I'm going to do it today. Um, I If I don't do it before my first client, then I'm probably not going to do it today because my last client is at five o'clock and I'll be done about 630. And at that point, the workday is over for me. Okay. I, I don't want to go no further than 630. So um today is a tuesday and so on tuesdays and thursdays i take clients starting at one o'clock so i don't take clients during the morning times on tuesdays and thursdays because i only take three clients a day and i want to make sure that i have days and times available for my clients who do have nine to five jobs with less flexible schedules and they can't come in the mornings or afternoon so um i take a one three and a five o'clock and today we are all full so we're about to head to the lash supply to pick up some things that i need and yeah we're gonna get started on the last day so like most lash artists unfortunately have to do i struggled so bad when i first started lashing like trying to find the right products i when i tell you i spent thousands of dollars i didn't even know i had thousands of dollars okay because i ain't had no job at the time and i still had bills um thank you god for unemployment but i spent thousands of dollars trying to find products that I liked and making sure I had enough products for all of the clients that I did not have at the time. Um, <laughs> I gave somebody some advice the other day on Instagram because she was trying to order from the last supply, but she ended up ordering from a different company. Um, and so once I, she sent me the company and I told her like, nah, this ain't the company. And she told me that she spent a decent amount of money with them. Um, she went to the last supply and then bought some stuff from them online so that she could use my discount code and i told her you know as a beginner you want to really make sure that if you don't have a lot of clients that you're not just buying up a lot of products because that stuff will sit there and that stuff will collect dust and when you do start getting clients you might find that you don't even like some of these products not from the last supply because they're all great um but from other companies you might find that you don't like you know these products or even with the lash supply one thing that i've experienced with them was they had a certain style of lashes um and then i loaded up on those and so after a little bit of time and i still had those lashes you know in stock or whatever they released some better lash products and so i bought the better lash products and then the older products they just sat there and so finally when i started training doing lash trainings i would just give those to my um trainees my students for them to like use and practice on so when you're a beginner lash artist do not go crazy buying up a whole bunch of lashes i always recommend that if you want to start you know to build your inventory start with mixed trays like get you a tray that goes from what eight nine millimeters to 15 16 millimeters and as you start using those um lengths using certain lengths you'll know okay i'm using more 12s than i am anything else so now you know when you order your supplies you need to order a single tray of 12 lashes so that you know you have enough to use them and everything so don't go crazy and spending all your money on supplies i did that in the beginning and oof, i wish i would not have and so i i struggled to find the right products um products that really worked for me and when i took my training oh y'all they're training when i took my when i took my training um i had some very cheap quality products and the quality of the products were so cheap that my trainer told me not to use them on a human person because the lashes were too hard he was like you know just practice on your mannequin with these and buy you some other lashes so anyway, after I took that training, it was in August of 2020, about September, I saw an ad that the Lash Supply was opening up a store here. Now, I knew nothing about the Lash Supply because, again, I knew nothing about lashes. 
And so um, I was like, okay, there's a lash door coming. Now on the day that I, I'm all over the place with this story, but just follow me. On the day that I took my training, there's um, a nail supply store here in Dallas that carries some lash products. And so my trainer told me about that. So after he left, me and my best friend, we hopped in the car and we went to the store so I could, you know, see what I could get or what I needed to buy some lashes. Um, so yeah, so once I saw that the lash supply, they were opening up a store. I knew nothing about the lash supply, nothing about their products, nothing about anybody's products or quality of products, anything like that. But I was excited that there was an actual lash store that was going to be here and I was a new lash artist. So um, during the grand opening, I went, bought some stuff and I really liked the lashes. I don't think I started with their adhesive at the time. Um, I was using Sky Glue. It's a brand that's on Amazon. And there's also a brand that it, I mean, they also sell sky glue at the lash supply. Um, but yeah. So after I stopped using sky glue, you know, I was kind of just playing around with the products at the lash supply, seeing what I would like and all of that. And so that's how I got, come on truck. That's how I got hooked with the lash supply because the fan, the lashes were easy to fan. But before I was making my own fans, I was buying these $30 boxes of pre-made fans and i couldn't hand make my fans so i was using pre-made and then once i got tired of paying 30 dollars a box for pre-made and you know i wanted to develop the skill i was like okay let me try easy fans so i got easy fans from the lash supply and they were really cool but then the easy fans started to have like too much adhesive or whatever that gooey stuff is that holds them together and i did not like that i just i didn't like it <laughs> and so finally um I was going to this girl to get my lashes done and we were kind of talking about where we got our products from and I told her that I couldn't hand make my own fans and um, I was going to pay her to teach me and she was like, well, you know, what are you using? So I told her that I was using la the Lash Supply lashes and um, I think she used the Lash Supply lashes, lashes also, but then she asked me about my tweezers and I told her that I was using tweezers from the Lash Supply and she was like, nah, their tweezers don't have that good of grip and so that's how I found out about Live Bay. And so after I bought the Live Bay tweezers, I was hand making my fans and I found out, oh, I don't suck. It was just the tweezers just weren't of great quality. Now, disclaimer, when I go to the last supply, I am about to get some tweezers because they have a new collection of tweezers. They sent them in my PR box um, at the beginning of the year. And I was a little nervous because I'm like, mm, I don't really do y'all tweezers. Oh, my God. Them tweezers right there. The tweezers are called the they're a limited edition number eight tweezer. It's a, um, what is it, like a 90 degree tweezer. I hate boot tweezers. Um, but it's like a, a L-shaped tweezer. Perfect. Okay. It, it's microfiber tip, but in the fans just don't, don't, they don't mess up. Like pulling the fans off, the, pulling the lashes off the strip. They already come off the strip easy, but those tweezers make them come off the strip. So sexy and smooth and just perfect every time. Um, fanning them out. They don't have, the tweezers don't have like the big deep ridges in them. Like, um, some other companies do in their microfiber tip tweezers. So I really appreciate that. That it's smooth. It makes the fan is smooth. The grip is smooth. Ooh, so yeah, get those tweezers from the last supply. Number eight limited edition. They are the bomb and the best tweezer that I have used. So um, back to back to my little spiel. So I found out, you know, the the tweezers were the issue. And I kept buying lashes from the last supply. Like I said, when they switched their products and uh, when well I switched their products, when they added a new lash collection, I gave it a try. And I actually think they have a new lash collection right now. And I'm gonna give those a try, period. So, um, and I'll show y'all those that they have them in the store. Um, but yeah, so it was the it was the tweezers, not me or the lashes. So the lash supply has had the best quality that I've used, and I've been lashing since August of 2020. So what is that? Like two and a half years? Wow, almost three years. That's crazy. Um, so they've had the the best products that i've used the glue um i tried a few of their adhesives my favorite adhesive is in a red bottle it's called the magic all seasons adhesive my retention goes so crazy like my clients have not had retention issues in, in in years and so the clients that do have retention issues this is how you know if it's you or if it's you know your clients with retention issues if the majority of your clients lashes last 
then the few that lashes don't last it's probably something that they're doing so um one thing for my clients who sleep on their face and are rough on their lashes i recommend that instead of every three weeks they come in they come in every two weeks that way we can you know keep them keep their lashes fresh and nice and they don't end up needing a full set if they wait a week longer so my retention is great with the lash supply adhesive with the lashes as well as their bonder i did not put bonder in my budget for this week but i think i might have to go ahead and get it because i only got a little bit left and i haven't been able to find the bonder online and i also don't want to have to drive back out here um so yeah that's that but once i get in the store i'm going to show you guys um what the store looks like and show you the products that i use from the lash supply so that if you want them you can order them online um, you save 10% and get free shipping when you use my discount code, which is T10, and it's T-E-E-1-0. -E so, um, yeah, I'm going to get ready to pull up at the last supply, and I'm taking y'all in the store with me. All right, so we have made it to the last supply. This isn't the normal location that I go to. Um, they have two locations here in Dallas, and one is in Garland, one is in Arlington. The one in Garland... I think it's like a little bit closer or maybe it's Arlington that's a little bit closer. However, Garland be missing stuff sometimes and Arlington always has what I need. So this is a store that I go to to make sure, you know, I ain't wasting no gas and my trip ain't in vain. So, yeah, y'all, we're going to go in here and see what we come out with. All right, y'all. So here we are with all of the last supply greatness. All right, so here's the bonder. I'm gonna go ahead and get some so that I don't have to come back out here another day. And then the lashes that I use are down here. And they're the Lash Artist Premium Choice Lashes. But now these are the ones that I was talking about with the um, new edition that they have. I don't know what the fallback means, but <laughs> it says that they're matte and they're darker, which means they're gonna create um, darker lash lines and darker fuller nicer set so i'm gonna actually grab those instead of my normal um premium lash that i get because i do want to give these a try okay so you can always try before you buy here so i'm comparing the new um trade to the more original or regular trade and they are a bit darker me and one of the ladies who um, works in here she showed me um that they don't have as much of a gloss to them so they are matte and as you can see they are a bit darker than the tray on the right, which is the original tray. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give these a try. Now, they don't have one of the lengths that I need. So, hopefully, the other ones I'll be able to get um, in the newer tray. All right. So, I was only able to find two lengths with the um, new matte and darker lashes. But we're going to be good on those. And then I restocked a couple of other lengths that I needed. My bonder and those number eight tweezers. I was telling y'all about you got to get them. All right. So, we got a little red bag of goodies. And it's time to head back and get the last day started. So for anybody who does not shop online and shops in store, the Lash Supply loves us. And that's why I love the Lash Supply. Okay, so starting in May, they have just started a loyalty program, which means every time you go in and spend some money, you get points toward money off of your um your purchases so i think it's like a hundred now i think it definitely said a hundred points is equals a dollar and every dollar you spend depending on how you spend your dollar so i believe it said when you use zelle cash app and something else some other electronic source every dollar is five points so it's not like you gonna take forever to rack up 100 points today i spent 116 dollars and for each one of those dollars i got five points so we win it um so yeah so in each point each 100 points equals a dollar so yeah so when you pay cat i mean when you pay with a credit card pause it's cash zelle and i think cash app that you get the five points and it's credit cards and debit cards, you get four points um, per dollar that you spend. So if you don't shop in online and get the 10% off, which you probably get a better deal that way. But anyway, if you happen to go in the store, make sure you set up your phone number with them so that every time you go in, you accumulate points and save the coins. I'm all about saving the coins, okay? I spent hella money when I first started lashing and you don't have to do that. It's, it's not necessary. So, um, 
yeah, that's that. So now I am headed back home. Before I go home, I'm going to actually go to the bank because I have some money that I've been needing to deposit into my business account for like two weeks. And the bank is like down the street from my house. But for whatever reason, I just haven't gone. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of that today so that it can get off of my to-do list. And then I'm going back home. Depending on how much time I have, uh, my ETA at home is 12, 11. So I'm not going to edit for YouTube. I'm going to eat lunch and then we're going to get ready to slice some lashes. And I'm going to let y'all see that process too. I had a couple things from Amazon that I had to stock. This is what I use for my clients' deluxe kits, um, lash bath kits. I had one pre, one client pre-order, so we're going to get her baggie together. And then I had to re-up on my lash um, bath brushes. I buy them by the case of 60. The last time I did a case of 100, and I don't know why I didn't do that this time. But yeah, and then my head covers that I use to cover my client's forehead so that I'm not touching their face and their skin. And um, when I tape the top, when I use mm, tape to pull up um, the lashes off of the lash line, so tape up, whatever it's called, um, I make sure that I attach the tape to the head cover and not their skin because you know I don't want the tape to be all on their eyebrows and their face and stuff so I'm about to put this stuff up and then get ready for my client all right y'all so I'm gonna show y'all my last room which is something I have never done since I've been back home based again so this is my little snack table and right now I only have some Oreos and water and some suckers in there I need to re-up the snacks but this right here is some wine and my honey has his own wine business and these are his two flavors and so I try to keep some samples and now i've added a couple bottles just so my clients can see the full size because some of them do like the wine i have my deluxe um kits right here license on the wall and this is what everything else kind of looks like my lash table my desk and yeah and then there's a little sparkle right there. You can't really see it because it's dark. So right here, this is what I, it's a partition that, you know, kind of folds. It's a three-fold. And I use that to cover up this way because that way is my living room. And although I try to keep, keep it clean in there, you know, this is my mind your business wall. So I don't need everybody in there. And then I'll show y'all the bathroom really quick. This is my client restroom. These pictures, I love them. They came from a um young black female artist and um yeah she she did those on her ipad so this is what the bathroom looks like my client is downstairs so it's time to go down there and get her and get started Down. Where I go? Well, y'all, the day's a wrap. I still have two videos to edit. I'm gonna get that done, and that's just gonna be that. Thank y'all for spending today with me, and I will see y'all in the next one.